Hello everyone. Yeah. Um, this is me, Bugs and Rugs, Chris, and uh, this is my grandson, Aaron. And uh, Aaron is here visiting today, and uh, we just got talking about the uh, Stanley Cup playoffs, and uh, and Toronto. Pretty oh. much the worst team. Oh. Is out for the fourth straight year. Fourth straight year? Yeah. Oh, they must feel really bad. What do you think their problem was this year? Well, they just didn't get enough, like, you know, they didn't have the strength, they didn't have the guys. Like, I I heard on TV, Brian Burke was going to get some new defense, like Joe, um, Jay Bomeister and another few players mm -hmm. that are defense. He needs new goaltending. He needs better, like, better goaltending to step up. Yeah. He's going to get rid of Tosca, it looks like, for oh, right now. Yeah. Yeah, so maybe, uh, maybe while well, this off season they can uh, try and get their act together because mm -hmm. boy oh boy they must be feeling pretty low right about now. So uh, what are your picks then uh, coming up for the Stanley Cup playoffs? Who uh, do you think is going to be uh, the one to really show their true colors? Well, it, well for me it seems like Montreal has got to do this, and they're in a tough mood right now. They they're playing the Boston Bruins coming off they've been on kind of a, a bad streak right now yeah so they their goaltending needs to like improve a notch oh. they give, because if they're coming into Boston they're gonna lose this series this is gonna be all Boston it's gonna be revenge it That's, is, it's eh? gonna be yeah. like over like and I, I think Montreal is gonna have a tough time in the playoffs yeah, well, uh, yeah I agree and what about uh Pittsburgh what do you think about that team well I'm sure that Mark Andre Fleury, a few changes, like he needs a little more, a few changes. Like, he does. Like what though? They're playing a team that they played last year. They have the same guys. They got Carter. They got Briere. They've got Richards. They also got Scott Hart, Scotty Hartnell. Mm -hmm. So, what they're gonna probably do is um, Pittsburgh's gonna do what they did last year. Is think what what Michelle Tyrion said. Only they're gonna think back to when they did that with Michelle Tyrion, mm -hmm. and then they're gonna have that plan ready again with the Flyers. Uh, I see. Yeah. And who else? Who do you think that uh, doesn't look like they're doing too good, but might just surprise us? Well, for me, it looks just like Anaheim and St. Louis. Really? Well. They surprised me lot yesterday because, well, I'm like, wow, why are they in the playoffs? They're bad teams. Mm. They don't, they're not supposed to be in here. Anaheim was out, like, completely out at the st first start of the season. Like, yeah. They weren't doing good at all. No. Like, last what year. What did they do then? They must have really stepped up to be... Turn their, their they just turn themselves around, right? Yeah, they turn themselves around, and then you got a good team with Shiger. Mm. Only I bet they're gonna be out, but by very soon. Yeah. And St. Louis, they got a few guys that I don't know. I just don't know what's their problem. They just got some good goaltending the last few weeks. They've just gotten some lucky bounces. That's all I gotta say for them. Wow. They got Oshi that who's been like doing nothing almost the whole time. Um, a few guys that are just dominating are Cole Yakovo or Steen ain't doing anything there. I bet they just should trade him or send him back somewhere. Yeah, you think so, eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what about um what about our Steve Stankos? He uh he got a goal against uh Toronto Steve, yeah. eh, didn't he? Yes, he did. Yes. Back a, a couple of weeks ago or whatever, a few weeks ago. Yep, and all i got to say is Steven, Steven has scored 23 goals this year. Good job, Steven. Good job, Steven. And that was a great interview, Aaron. Thank you very much for uh, all the facts and uh, your, out, your output on this, input, output, outlook. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, so until next time, this is Chris and Aaron saying, keep your stick on the ice. Bye for now. Ow. Okay, hi once again, everybody. Hi. 
And now we have, you remember Aaron, he's back with us, and now he has his brother Andrew has come to join yes. us. Yes, Because uh, he's got his Steve Stamkos shirt on. Yes. And uh, so you're a fan of his, and are you Andrew? Yep. You really like Steve, eh? Yep. So uh, what are your choices for, for the uh, Stanley Cup playoff, Andrew? Mm, I would say Boston or Montreal. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. And, what, well, and your brother thinks what about that, though? Well, Boston. Well, they almost lost the very last time against Montreal in the overtime period. It was a good goal by Boston. I just got to say that they're just going to be under pressure by the Canadians because they've gotten a good head coach. Now it's Ganey. It's a good thing that they fired Guy Carbono for one reason, because everything was went went wrong. Everything was wrong. Would you please stop making so <laughs> <I'm> so sorry? <laughs> what was that you were saying now? Well, uh, <laughs> never mind if you can't think of anything to say. <laughs> okay, never mind. Yeah, Charlie who's gonna win? Uh, Boston. 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 See, he even has the accent from Boston. Boston. I even have that joke. Boston beans? <laughs> hey, Boston. <laughs> what about Boston pizza? Oh, I never thought of that. Boston pizza. Go Boston pizza! pizza. Yay! <laughs> now, we have another one of the Tishinoff brothers to join you, and you've got Aaron, Andrew, and Adam. Hi, Adam. Yeah, hi. Adam, what is your favorite team for the Stanley Cup playoffs? Do you like who, honey? Uh, two teams, Calgary yeah. and... Uh, Calgary and... Montreal. And Montreal. Yay! 